How do you add a background image to a page in Flutterflow? In this video, we're going to find out exactly that. Right, so uh, this is a, uh, a quite a simple one and got a super helpful because obviously when somebody comes to your app or your web app or whatever, having sort of background image really sets it off and you know, on your login page or if you've got a couple of pages where you want to use scroll through before they can log in with some messages on or whatever it's uh, it's all pretty good for that so what we're going to do we're going to look at adding the background image on this page this is my triathlon training plan app that i use regularly so we're going to start by adding the container where we're going to add the image and then we will look at a couple of options for displaying the image and one of which is calling it from Superbase. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to the primary container, which is the one that contains all of the all of the widgets. I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to delete it. So we've got a blank page. And then what we need to do then, we need to add a container because on the scaffold itself, on the page scaffold, the only options we've got are colours and our custom colors and background color can only be done in there by variables etc but you can't there's no option to add an image so uh, what we need to do is add a container because a container we can change our background and lay stuff on top of it so obviously it's not much use up in that top corner so down here on your width and your height change those to percent and both of those need to be 100%. And what that will do, it will go full width and full height. I'll explain what the two gaps are at the end shortly. And as you can see here, we've got fill color. We can give it a fill color. But if you keep scrolling, you've got the background image option. And we can take our image from a few places. We've got the network image. We've got the asset on uploaded file now. I'm going to ultimately I'm going to use the network image. I'm going to put one in Superbase. Um, the asset if it was that asset images, I've had a problem with Flutterflow on this particular app. There's a quite a few images here that are so I go into the assets. These are basically awards for you know completing different tasks, different challenges, and the amount of times these have just lost their reference and I've had to delete them and upload them several times it must be a bug in Flutterflow it's happened a few times but only in this app though um, so I don't really trust this sort of system at all so on the scaffold here for this we're going to use the network image option so basically what we need to is an image path so if we head over to Superbase okay and what we need to do is go to storage and there's no storage buckets. So we need to add a new bucket. I mean, obviously you don't have to put it in Superbase. You can call the image from anywhere, anywhere you've got a URL. Just create a new public bucket, basically. And what that means is anything in the bucket can be read, but you can't, you still need RLS there, look for deleting, updating, etc. But anybody with the URL can read the image which is great for image which is great for images because obviously you want to be able to display them without well, before the user logged in and without any RLS so if we save that and just create that and we need to then upload a file so if you just click upload and navigate to where you've got your stored file your stored image that you want to upload and there I'm uploading this an Iron Man image okay so on the three dots click those and you've got get url so copy that and that's copied foot to your clipboard and then on the container back down to our network image type network and basically we need to paste our path in there and then you see we've got some people waiting to get in on their iron man swim now then you'll see these top and bottom 
gaps this is all to do with the safe area so the bottom is where your app bar would go which obviously is the login page you don't need that and the top is a safe area around on modern iPhones you've got the well you've got the in cut into the screen in sort of the 14 backwards but on the 15 you've got the, the little widget thing there and it's where your battery and your percentage and that kind of stuff is but we can cover that in this area so if you click off safe mode then your image will cover the whole screen which is good and then down to our fitting options now if you're making a web app which this is purely designed for mobile but if you're making a web app you want your image to be able to be sort of visible handily on all screens so for instance if I click on take up the entire space then you can see it doesn't work and then we've got contain as large as possible again you've already seen there that doesn't function either so really the best one is that one which is cover as small as possible by taking up the entire space so that works in both directions and also the one with the cross there works in both directions as well although it kind of centers it a bit but that works there but we'll stick with that one and then if we then paste our widgets back in there and you can see we've got that and you've got image it doesn't look great but for now that kind of demonstrates the concept so what I'm going to do I've got a temporary page in here somewhere so on this temporary page I'm going to add the container back in and it'll be 100 and 100 and I'll just go and grab oh, no more issues for that seems to message seems to be on the top of my screen quite regularly and what we'll do we will put the background image back in this is on a temporary page and then on the page scaffold get rid of the safe area right all of this is for so drag a column in and we've got a column and then for instance we can really put one in there so if we was put a couple of rows in and center those then we can you know add a button in that one and some text in that one center that and in fact center that as well and then just change that to triathlon plans and we'll make that second background and 16 for argument's sake and then just for another thing let's go and add in a I don't know if we could put a stack in there I suppose or in fact yeah let's put a stack in there and we'll make it 100 by 100 and let's go our overall alignment let's make it top but we want some padding up there 200 for no particular reason this is just demonstrating the fact that you can add some bits and pieces on top of on top of your image really so we wanted to say if let's put an image in another image on top of there and here we will use one of my one of my assets let's go to there so and then obviously on top of there we could put something else as well we could put some just a stack we can put something else on there it doesn't have to be just an image we can add some text to the stack or whatever so really just demonstrating what you can do on top of your image so within your container basically put your container in create your background image and then you can just build on top of that really whatever you want to do to create your user interface layout so it's not difficult so um let's get rid of these and just finally we'll go back to get rid of those go back to container what i'm going to do i'm going to upload another load another asset temporarily 
let's see what I've got on the image wise so I did a video recently with a trivia game uh, step by step build a pretty simple one okay that's happened twice even though one of them I think one of them failed PNG failed because it was too big a file but there we go okay not quite sure what that's all about but if we go back to there, this is really just to show that if we go down again to here and we, if we go by asset rather than and we can add another background image and that's how you do it as an, an asset it's literally the same thing but you don't need the URL because we're taking that from there or wherever you may have it stored or you've taken it maybe you know anywhere that's got a URL to the images you can you can call it and then again with our options for see that doesn't work in that instance that because it's a square image so that's something to bear in mind but you can do that and it will just drag it in so it's just a matter of playing about with it really and then again once you then once you have happy with your image you can add a column and start building on top of it so that's that's kind of it really it's it's, it's a pretty quick one but it's one that I saw was quite a popular search how do you add your background image in Flutterflow so I thought I'd just do this quickly just to show how easy it is and hopefully you something you can take away and use in your projects so as always thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you next time